जैन फ्रेंड्स द गौरव आर्य शो में आपका बहुत बहुत स्वागत है दोस्तों आप अक्सर टेलीविजन में देखते होंगे, अखबार पढ़ते होंगे आप लोग रेडियो में सुना होगा आपने कि कश्मीर में एनकाउंटर हो गया आतंकवादियों को मार गिराया और ये सिक्योरिटी ऑपरेशन होते हैं जिसमें पुलिस भी शामिल है जिसमें सीआरपीएफ भी शामिल है जिसमें फौज भी शामिल है लेकिन एक फोर्स है जिसका हर समय नाम लिया जाता है राष्ट्रीय राइफल्स नाम तो सुना ही होगा आपने लेकिन द क्वेश्चन हियर इज हाउ डिड द राष्ट्रीय राइफल्स टेक बर्थ हु कंसेप्चुलाइज द राष्ट्रीय राइफल्स ये बनी कैसे फोर्स और ये आज की तारीख में ऐसे बन गई है इस तरीके से उभर के आई है इसकी शुरुआत क्या थी टूडे आई वेरी स्पेशल गेस्ट ऑन माई शो एंड इट्स माई ग्रेट ऑनर एंड प्रिवलेज to introduce you to lieutenant general pd bhargav sir jaihind hamari show mein aapka bahut bahut swagat hai sir thank you uh, sir rashtra rifles ke bare mein log baat karte hain rr ne ye kara rr ne wo kara kyon zarurat padi desh ko rashtra rifles jaisi force raise karne kiska idea tha kahan se aaya kyon zarurat padi sir you must be knowing there is a manpower ceiling Jee. that you can have army only up to this size Jee. and it was very particular at that time and they there was a necessity to have a force which looks after counter terrorism counter insurgency and also a rear area protection the troops that we had and the threats that we have got on borders our army was it was considered is not enough in size we must have another force in order to uh, sort of raise this force and not still call it army a new force was thought of that is the rashtra rifle and uh, it was considered that it should be uh, under the mha ministry of home affairs and they should budget it but of course its employability everything should be under the army general rodricks was the one who initially got the idea but it did not come on the ground except that i believe two brigade headquarters with six battalions were raised and the concept that time was that it will consist of only ex servicemen acha shuru mein ex servicemen ka tha sir yeah that was the concept ke ex servicemen lenge isko jo retire ho gaye wo aake isme kaam karenge even paramilitary forces those people who want to serve again it will be a good reemployment and also the army will better train manpower mil jayega sir train manpower mil jayega they tried it people came when they found that the conditions are not so good they were not getting any extra allowance they were going to get into so much of risk people started leaving so the experiment of excellent failed so it had to be carry on and they were regular troops six battalions uh, i believe there was a battalion in amritsar tarantaran the brigade um, then general joshi when he came on the scene he was toying with the idea even when he was army commander and i was with him in chandigarh yes. uh, he said we are going to raise a new force speedy work on it and we you will we will have to give a presentation to the ministry after some time we heard that he forced his way and during narsimha rao's time he got a letter issued government letter issued that 30 battalions threat in j and k increased to so much that we, lo- we at one time thought we may lose j and k yes sir wo ek bar yeah ho, ho gaya tha sir so usne ja ke convince kiya unhone letter issue kar diya you can raise 30 battalions i was promoted Uh, he asked dg infantry he said 30 battalions he says he wants it within 6 months otherwise he'll... 6 months 30 battalions dg infantry naturally said impossible but sir i'm sorry i'm interrupting you here ye 6 mahine mein 30 battalions sir 6 mahine mein ek battalion raise nahi hoti sir you are right ye 30 battalion kaise ye and who took up this challenge or how was this challenge thrown sir challenge was thrown by general joshi and the people who know that it can't be done is dg infantry dg mac forces i had never raised a battalion in my you friend signals sir i was signals i had not even raised a signal unit sir so when they sort of um, declined or refused he says speedy is used by initial pd bhargav speedy you raise it i say sir i am a signal officer a technical officer he said don't talk nonsense it is a order you will raise it so there it was i was a dg rush rifle without knowing what i have to do <laughs> without knowing what i have to do and he says six months as the maximum time sir. that you will get sir started working on it and uh, reported went to break down our headquarter there there i found one major general harish dua he had not taken over for anyone and this force which was earlier there had on paper three dgs 
And when I spoke to those three DGs when they were arrived, they said, well, they were on paper, but they never, after all, there can't be a DG on six battalions. But in order to fill up the vacancy as the system is, they were appointed as... Ajay, sir, tell me something, sir. These battalion ki nafri, and because RR, even at that time, I'm assuming, sir, that there will be six companies, because, you know, infantry battalion, there are four companies in the infantry battalion, sir. Yeah, that's right. But you said six companies, sir, Rashtra Rifles, sir. Yeah. Which means, sir, around uh, what? Oh, all elements mila ke kari, hazar hazar bande, sir. 50,000 total force was there. Uh, around 50,000, sir. Now, this much force cannot be recruited in such a time. So the concept was milk the normal battalions, take out the trade manpower from them, and raise these battalions. Because these battalions were to be given a special task. I'm told that probably this is the biggest anti uh, counterinsurgency force in the world which has ever been raised dedicated only for counterinsurgency. So, started the process. The SD directed, MS and all, they got into the wing and the order started going, you could give 100 people, you give 200 people this, and if you were somewhere adjutant or something, everyone got rid of all the badmash. I was officiating, sir. I was CEO. CEO, my CEO, sir, God bless his soul, sir, uh, uh, Colonel Patak used to be CEO, and somebody else, sir, uh, uh, Captain Anuj at that point in time, he was the adjutant, sir. Anuj, sir, is now a serving colonel. So, uh, Anuj, sir, chutti pe te, sir, tum mujhe aisi bol diya, main bachcha tha, sir, ek saal ki naukri nahi thi meri. To bola ki, dekho, manpar ka crunch tha. I didn't know what to, I was totally lost, I was dependent on the AHIT clerk to tell me something, sir. So, I asked the CEO, I said, sir, ye teen vacancies aai hai, kya karna hai, iska, what should I do? So, the CEO said that, uh, you know, jiska discipline achcha hai, usko mat bhejna. जो स्पोर्ट्समैन है उसको मत भेजना जो एनएसजी से आया है उसको मत भेजना जो एसएफ वाला है उसको मत भेजना जिसकी ड्रिल अच्छी है उसको मत भेजना मैंने बोला सर भेजना किसको है राष्ट्र गुड चांस टू गेट रेड ऑफ ऑल द बक जितने भी बिल्कुल वहां पे बदमाश थे सर सत्रह को मांगे शुरू शुरू में तो वो गए राष्ट्र राइफल सर पूरी इंडियन आर्मी सर एवरीबडी सेंड बट बट द सेविंग ग्रेस इज दैट जनरल जोशी वाज सो पर्टिकुलर ही सेज द मोस्ट आउटस्टैंडिंग ऑफिसर्स यस सर ही सेंड टू दिस फोर्स एब्सोल्युटली वो तो हुआ था सर एंड ही टोल्ड मी he says, PD, you can go and sit with the MS, MS my own course with Ravi Aip. Sure. I went to him. I said, look, I've been told to select the officers. He says, PD, let me do my job and don't bloody bullshit me. Okay? <laughs> I'll, take, I'll take out. People have got their career prospects. I can't just send them to RR. Because he also, RR, everyone thought, what the hell is this new force? So, but the most outstanding officers were sent to this force. And that was a secret how it came through. In spite of the manpower or the men not being of high quality, the success started right from the beginning. After they were raised and employed, right from the beginning, the success started. Sir, what's the story of Bhande Bhartan, sir? You told me about it. This is not our Bhande Bhartan, and there is no car, so let's paint it. What's the story of this? Six months in the past, tell me what happens. जब मैंने देखा कि तीन मंथ तो मेरे ये खत्म हो गए हैं, तो this is I said this is a very good excuse for General Joshi to sack me. Thereafter, I was also doing well in life. मैं कहा यार this is my Waterloo and he has given me a task which cannot be performed. So I went to him. I say look, I want to have a coordination conference in Army headquarters. In there is a big hall one to nine D where I want to get all the battalion commanders with their quartermaster and other reps. I want the brigade commander, that is the sector commander. Sector commanders, sir. Sector commanders. I want the force commanders, and I want on the table the QMG, MGO, MS, maybe anyone who had to do something to do with the milking and providing the resources. He said, I have given you all power. Do whatever you want to. You have my total authority. So we had the most interesting conference in that conference hall, sir. when we started with, okay, number three uh, headquarters, tell me first battalion, what don't you have? He says, sir, we don't have to make food for our food. So, what do we do? We say, sir, we have to borrow some of our homes. This is our state. So, QMG, uh, MGO, he, he looked at staff. When, when can you provide? And notes are being made. They will be provided within one month. They will be sent to the station there. No one will go to the depot to collect it. They will be sent there with our escort. So each and every item was covered, especially the major items, tentage, other things. And it got resolved to a certain extent, at least it was called. That was my task, to coordinate yes. to how it done. And things started moving. Manpower, 
एम एस सर द ऑफिसर्स आर नॉट रिपोर्टेड ही वुड लुक एट द डेप्टी वाई द हेल एव दे आर नॉट रिपोर्टेड दे वट रिपोर्ट लास्ट वीक इसे सर दे आर नॉट रिपोर्टेड आई मीन हाउ मच एक्शन कैन यू टेक अगेंस्ट पीपल इट वॉज सच ए फोर्स एंड जनरल जोशी वॉज अ वेरी वेरी पावरफुल मैन ही से अवॉन्ट द फोर्स तो दैट वन टू नाइन डी ऑफ बर्तन एक बड़ा इंटरेस्टिंग किस्सा है दे वॉज एम जी ओ रिस्की कॉलो वी हैड डन स्टाफ कोर्स टूगेदर रिस्की कॉलो सर रिस्की कॉलो ग्रेडियस एंड यू आर कॉल्ड स्पीडी भार्गव स्पीडी भार्गव सर स्पीडी भार्गव गोज टू रिस्की कॉलो ऑफिस रिस्की भाई वी वॉन्ट जीप्स फॉर द आर आर जी एंड ही से बड़े भाई तुमने हमारी पता नहीं क्या उसे पंजाबी में बोला तुमने अभी क्या करोगे वी आई हैव गॉट नॉट अ सिंगल जीप आई से सोचो जीप चाहिए हमें कहता मेरे पास सिर्फ वाइट जीप यू एन ओ की जो है टास्क के लिए यू एन फोर उसकी पड़ी हुई है आई से प्लीज पेंट दम ओ जी एंड इशू दम ई से यू आर टॉकिंग एज इफ यू आर बड़ी चीफ ऑफ आर्मी स्टाफ आई से गिव मे पेपर आई रोट डाउन फ्रॉम पी डी बार गो टू दिस सिंग पेंटिंग ऑफ वी प्लीज पेंट ऑल द जीप दिस इज दिस सिंग फॉर द राष्ट्र राइफल एंड इशू दम लास्ट मेरा दिस हैज द अप्रूवल ऑफ चीफ ऑफ आर्मी स्टाफ साइंड <laughs> he said, he says, "Don't you bloody bullshit me, sir? Uh, do you think by writing this you will get this?" Sir. I said, "Look, I have given you a writing and I can be court-martialed. Okay, I have told you that it has a proof of Chief Harbista. He was also very close to General Joshi. He picked up the rack telephone, the internal secret yes, telephone. He rang up General. Sir, Speedy is sitting in front of me. He says he has got your approval to paint the white jeeps." Uh, OG and issue them to Rash Rifle, and he says he has your approval. He says if Speedy is saying he is, he must be having my approval. I mean, go ahead, that don't stop it, sir. So I said, risky, <laughs> risky. Said double salute to you, <laughs> sir. I had to go and become unpleasant, oblique, shing to everyone, deputy chief of army staff, sir. Even to Suza, who was to become chief, sir. he was my course mate. but he was deputy chief and i as soon as he writes he was the io on paper though it has no meaning at that stage so i spoke to him once or twice that the man power from mac force is not coming he was the colonel of the regiment when didn't come i issued a signal that mac force is so and so force has not arrived if it doesn't arrive by so and so date i'll be constrained to bring it to the notice of the chief army staff so i got a message the pg wants you in the office i went there he says stand properly when you have come to my office i said yes so kya ho gaya yaar dost hai hum to he say you are bloody threatening me eh? do you know that i am your boss i say sir look main arjun hu is waqt mujhe to sirf fish kiya maine 6 mahine mujhe diye hue hai i want the manpower i have told you that it should come by so and so if you can't reply it or don't do it main kam se kam chief ko bata to sakun to ke aapko bataya hai otherwise say why have you not told him Similarly, the SNC I issued on a Sunday. I got a letter delivered at his home. The manpower is not arriving. Then came the problem of uh, exchanges, radio sets, and all that. From being from signals, I knew that there are signal parks where we have got a hidden reserve. खजाने कहाँ हैं सर? खजाने कहाँ पे हैं? तो मैंने वो उनको एक लेट दे दिया कि please issue so many exchanges, so many. Incidentally, these new battalions were so well equipped. and the order was that infantry battalion can be without weapons and without anything but the rash rifle will not be six exchanges were authorized battalion whereas normal battalion was authorized two yes sir so i said issue the so he rings me up he says speedy if and when you become snc you will regret your decision and I, coincidentally i took over from him as snc later so i said look i have got a task to perform and i am not going to fail as far as possible so he got annoyed okay, i have got all the exchanges from the signals i had to go to i was in the south block almost the whole day and i would come to headquarters just to push up, uh, ring up the command headquarters some troops reached there no accommodation there is nothing so ring up the army commanders with my seniority most of them by my course mates or little junior senior i could pick up the phone and ring up everyone do this do that and uh, another very interesting incident ji when i went after the uh, south block i went to my headquarters there i found that there were six trucks loaded with books. aapne story batayi thi sir kitabon ke 6 truck pade the wahan pe 6 truck ji 6 truck maine kaha ye kya aa gaya bhai 
کہتے ہیں سر کتابیں آئی ہیں راشٹر رائفل کے لیے میں کہا دکھاؤ ڈسکوری آف انڈیا مائی ایکسپیریمنٹ وتھ ٹروتھ آئی سے آر دیز بکس فار مائی ٹروپس آئی سے وٹ دا ہیل از ہیپننگ ود یو میں نے اسے مائی ٹروپس اٹ ول انٹرسٹ ٹو اسٹے دیٹ وین آئی واز دیئر آئی اسٹارٹ ویئرنگ بلیک لینڈ یارٹ ڈائریکٹر I walked into the office. I said, sir, my troops need transistors, games, VAO, and I don't know, this money is being wasted so much. Many books have come. What will I do? Near, near, in the nearest Nala, I will go and throw it away. Sir. He, he called someone. And someone who came, he wanted to justify. He said, sir, it's with their approval. Army had approved it. I said, Army had got approved. I am the Army headquarters. Or they, had, they showed proceedings. which were signed by Ministry of Defense, some of the things. At the end, there were two colonels who signed that they agree with this, whatever they have decided. Yes, sir. I said, sir, you know what happened. He said, no, don't worry. Don't worry, General. I'll have them back and I'll give you, give me the list of what you want. So this is how the things were to be moved to get this force on their feet. He wanted to study RR's section commander Discovery of India. He wanted to study it, sir. Discovery of India. You know, there are wheels within wheels. مسٹری والا کوئی بٹ سیکلر کے ساتھ ہوگا وہ بولتا ہے اس کو بیچو یار کس طرح سے بیچو گورنمنٹ کے کریکٹ سر تو سر دھیرے 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 فورس کھڑی ہو جاتی ہے سر مطلب سلولی سلولی اور ریزلٹس آنا ریزلٹس جو آئے تھے سر جو ٹیررسٹ کو نیوٹرلائز کرنا شروع کرا تھا مارنا شروع کرا تھا سر یہ بعد میں آئے کہ شروع میں ہی سکسیس مل گئے یو نو اف یو ریڈ دا ہسٹری بیکاز آئی واز ناٹ آن دا فیلڈ آئی واز موسٹلی ڈوئنگ ہیئر سر After their training and all, with the motivation and the total credit goes to the leaders, the officers who had gone. Even this riffraff, they put them in a team because their careers are at stake. Someone was looking for a foreign posting. They were very outstanding officers. They put into the team. And the results started coming after about one year, six months, eight months, and the results were fantastic. Results were so good that everyone said, yeah, this is a force. which has to be now looked into and uh, looked after. And the results started coming in, and you see the results now. So some, somebody has uh, uh, rightly called it the most successful military experiment. Yeah. Post-independence, sir, there was no experiment that was so successful, like the Rashtra Rifles. And what you are telling me, sir, that the young people came, they were very dangerous, sir, at a different level. At the beginning, sir. At the beginning, sir. After that, then, they became QR, QR. No, no, sir, they are very good concept came. After a little while, sir. they said, this uh, force consists of 50% infantry, sir. Rush 50% armor corps, artillery, engineers, signals, ASC, EME, all troops were there. Sir. Men from signals also were doing patrolling. Men from EME were doing patrolling. So, they said, this will not work like this. So then the concept came, that look, two battalions from each sector will be attached to a regiment headquarters. Rajput uh, regiment will give two battalions, pure battalion. But that concept came after four or five years. Yes, sir. So at the moment, battalion, you know, they say, uh, Rashtra Rifle, so and so battalion. So, sir, here, then, the young men, they were in a way, sir, officers, you said, they were exceptional. So, then, they were in a way. Sir, I'll tell you, I lost touch with the army, sir, for some time. I was in touch with my unit, but what happened in RR? I left the army in 1999, sir. It was a lot of time. When I joined the media and went to shoot Patriots, sir, I used to do a TV series, Patriots, sir. I went to RR unit, sir. So I asked an officer, expecting that he would say, I'm going to this Kumau. Because I went to a Kumau unit, sir. So when I went to the unit, I said, which unit? He said, some armored unit. I said, what are you doing here? He said, you're an armored corps guy. What are you doing? This is the infantry work of the infantry. Then it hit me, sir, because I was out of touch. I didn't know. And I'm talking about 2017. Then at that point, and the rest of the RR operations, whatever I read in the media from my friends, that I knew. I didn't know about this, sir. It had completely escaped my mind. You're very right when you said, sir, there's signals of infantry, ASC, AOC, infantry, MAC force, armored, sir. 
signal chairs would never got the would have never got bravery awards we have got so many bravery awards and signals sir so many people because hardcore technical uh, this yeah, things are signals no, but they became infantry like i became infantry was there they are there they are have you change your line yards <laughs> or isse badi baat kya ho sakti hai yeah sir uh, uh, last question to you is sir a lot of changes have happened sir rr mein bahut change ho gaye hain jaise ki uh, terrorism change hui hai sir terrorism ki region change hue hain uh, during our times when we were in jain ke sir suranakot bada hot hua karta tha sir and then uh, that place sir uh, doda kishtwad used to be very hot fir uske baad north kashmir south kashmir ye ghumta raha rr bhi waise kafi hua hai आखिरी क्वेश्चन सर ये भी बड़ी इंटरेस्टिंग स्टोरी है जो हमारे व्यूअर्स को जाननी चाहिए इनके नाम के पीछे क्या है सर इनके जो इनके जो फोर्सेस हैं सर आरआर के अंदर जो फोर्स है सर विक्टर फोर्स डेल्टा फोर्स यूनिफॉर्म फोर्स इसकी स्टोरी बताइए सर दिस माय लास्ट क्वेश्चन टू दैट्स वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग सर यू नो सिक्स मंथ्स आई वेंट टू चीफ ऑफिस वन डे सर जन जोशी सर जन जोशी जन जोशी वाज वेरी फाउंड ऑफ मी एंड आई वाज वेरी फाउंड ऑफ बिकॉज इफ यू हैड लिव्ड फॉर द आर्मी वुड हैव लिटिल डिफरेंट सर ही सेड now the uh, the force headquarters have been sanctioned and we have to give the names and speedy think of the names today and tomorrow we want the name i said sir the name given the responsibility is that of the sd branch or ag branch because you have to see ke pakistan mein nahi hona chahiye us kar mein nahi hona chahiye he said stop talking nonsense i have asked you and i got a little worked up and i said what is this jo bhi ho speedy you will do i said sir uh, wo jo valley mein hai कॉल इट विक्टर फोर्स वी वी कश्मीर में आई कॉल इट किलो फोर्स डोडा में आई कॉल इट डेल्टा फोर्स ही से तुम साला सिग्नल वाला अल्फा ब्रेवो चार्ली जानता है तो उसको लगा दिया तुमने अल्फा ब्रेवो मैं कह सकता दिस ऑल दैट आई कैन थिंक ऑफ द टाइम दैट यू गिव मी आई एम सो प्राउड ऑफ द फैक्ट दैट इवन टूडे यस सर विच एवर फोर्स इज रेज नाउ न्यू फोर्स हैज बिन रेज फॉर उधमपुर एंड बनिहाल यूनिफॉर्म फोर्स यूनिफॉर्म फोर्स सर रिजोरी के लिए रोमियो फोर्स रोमियो फोर्स सर माय माय अल्फा ब्रेवो चार्ली इज स्टिल गोइंग ऑन यस सर सर एक्सीलेंट सर एंड थैंक यू सो वेरी मच सर हमसे बात करने के लिए और हमें यह बताने के लिए कि राष्ट्र राइफल जिसका हमने इतना नाम सुना है सर और सिविलियंस भी बहुत जानते हैं आरआर के बारे में आरआर के एक्शंस के बारे में किसी को यह नहीं पता कि जो आरआर आज है जिनके पास स्टेट ऑफ द आर्ट वेपन्स हैं स्टेट ऑफ द आर्ट ट्रेनिंग है जिन्होंने लगभग कश्मीर से और जम्मू से सर साफ कर दिया साफ कर दिया टेररिज्म उस फोर्स की शुरुआत कैसे हुई थी विथ वन ऑफिसर विथ ए स्मॉल टीम रनिंग अराउंड टेलिंग एम या मुझे गाड़ियां चाहिए मुझे गाड़ी लेके दो यू नो पेंट द व्हीकल नॉन इन्फेंट्री ऑफिसर नॉन इन्फेंट्री ऑफिसर सिग्नल कोर्स सर मुझे ये चाहिए ये चाहिए चीफ ने बोला यू नो वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग स्टोरी थैंक यू सो वेरी मच सर दोस्तों विद लेफ्टिनेंट जनरल पीडी भार्गव यू हर्ड अबाउट हाउ दी राष्ट्र राइफल्स टुक बर्थ एंड इवन टुडे व्हेन यू हेयर ऑफ स्टोरीज ऑफ एनकाउंटर्स इन द कश्मीर वैली देल से दिस यूनिट ऑफ द राष्ट्र राइफल्स विक्टर फोर्स डेल्टा फोर्स यूनिफॉर्म फोर्स रोमियो फोर्स किलो फोर्स नाउ यू नो वेयर दीज नेम्स कम फ्रॉम थैंक यू फॉर वाचिंग आई विल सी यू अगेन नेक्स्ट वीक विद अनदर स्पेशल गेस्ट and thank you for watching the gorawarya show